Welcome back to Thriving with Autism. I'm Kathy Flynn, and this is Functions of Behavior Part 2. Yesterday, we talked about how it is so important to know the reason why your child is behaving aggressively so that we can react the correct way. Well, in order for you to know the different reasons for behavior, we're going to go over each function each day. Yesterday, we talked about M, behavior that comes from a medical reason. Be sure to go back to part one so that you're caught up. Today, we're going to be talking about the next letter in the acronym MEETS, E. E is for escape. Your child may want to escape the task that you are asking him or her to do. The easiest example I can give you of this is when your child is trying to get out of doing a non-preferred task that may be really frustrating or challenging. For some of you right now, this may come up when you ask your child to sit down and do an assignment for remote learning. For our younger babies, this could be as simple as your child running away when you call his or her name or ask him or her to sit down with you. If you allow your child to escape because he or she became aggressive, then once again, you are accidentally reinforcing the aggression. You are basically saying, it's okay that you just bit me. You can go take a break away from the table. In this case, your child learns that if he or she shows aggression, he or she gets to escape the task. The escape is what your child wants and may do anything to get it, even hit, bite, scratch, whatever. Always redirect the aggression and continue your direction so that at least one step of the task is completed and then your child can be granted a break. For example, if your child is doing a puzzle and becomes very frustrated and wants to escape, she may scratch your hand. Ask her to put in one more piece, even if you have to help her, and then she can take a break. We also want to teach your child to ask for a break appropriately instead of running away or getting aggressive or throwing a tantrum. When you know your child is escaping, you can get very strategic with your instruction. You can plan to offer more breaks during learning so that you maintain instructional control and slowly build your child's endurance for work-related tasks. That's it for today. Tune in tomorrow where we will go over the next function of behavior, A, which is for attention-seeking behavior. Believe me, you're not going to want to miss this one. Until then, I'm Kathy Flynn, and this is Thriving with Autism.